Simplify minus 17 plus minus 8 plus minus 10. Minus 35. Correct. How many prime numbers is One. That? Correct. Find the value of 60 minus 70 minus 40. 30. Correct. Find the HCF of 8. 8. Correct. Evaluate the square root of 6 bracket six. 4 plus 2. Correct. Find the product of minus 4 and minus 24. 6. 24. Correct. Evaluate 25 minus minus 30. 55. Correct. Welcome guys, welcome again to another episode of the WSXM podcast where a united Africa is an undisputed Africa. That's the fact. So, Nigeria. I found out about these two Nigerian girls and they did something. One of them, they both did something that was unheard of and it was not highlighted as much as I, how I would like. So, with my channel, I'm just giving a little like shine on these two young Nigerian girls. Anyway, look at the hit. This, she's 15 years old and she's known as... Queen of Maths, her name is Faith. Queen of Maths, not only in Nigeria, are on the African continent, in the world. She's like, she's, she like, she's like the number one when it comes down to mathematics. But before I get into the video, you know me already, I always say, let's watch it, then we can discuss it. Boom. Carbopedia, 60 seconds of fame starts now. What is the square? 64. Correct. Multiply 1 over 3 by 5, 5 over 6. Correct. What is or are the prime Two. factors? Correct. The cost or price of a gas cylinder is 8,000. 24,000. Correct. What is the 7? 28. Point? Correct. What is the sum of the prime numbers between 1 and 5? 10. Correct. Convert 70% to 7 over 10. Correct. Express 0 0.00. 2.4 times 10 is by minus 5. Correct. Convert 4. 0 0.8. Correct. Approximate 5 to 5. 5. Point, um, 5. 530. Correct. Simplify 10 to the minus 4. 0 0.00001. Incorrect. What is the square root of the product of 4 and 9? 6. Correct. How many hours are there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the same day? 6. Correct. Simplify minus 17 plus minus 8 plus minus 10. Minus 35. Correct. How many prime numbers is 1. That? Correct. Find the value of 60 minus 70 minus 40. 30. Correct. Find the HCF of 8. 8. Correct. Evaluate the square root of 6 bracket six. 4 plus 2. Correct. Find the product of minus 4 and minus 24. 6. 24. Correct. Evaluate 25 minus minus 30. 55. Correct. Wow. So, that's the um the competition that she won. Queen of Maths. And um she not only won, she won by a wide margin. By 30 points clear of everyone else. The closest person came to her was the Indonesian young young man who get 10 points and she got 40. So she cleared by 30 points. And she answered 19 questions in 60 seconds. And if you realize how she was answering these questions, even the, the guy who was giving the question said wow at the end, because what? Before he even asked some of the questions, she already knew the answers. That's to show you the speed her, her brain is clicking at. But let me show you how much country, other countries, let me put it up, how many other countries she beat out. China, the UK, the US, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia. So, when you can beat the Chinese in maths, you are a brilliant young, young, young person. And, like I said, this young lady not only won this, she's, she's been won in mathematics competition from since she was younger in Nigeria and on the continent of Africa. Multiple awards she won, multiple first places. Her brother is also a prodigy because he won the junior, this is she won the senior. Her father, who's a doctor, also was a, a, um take part in the same competition, but he never went global, worldwide. He did it um only in Nigeria and, and the continent of Africa. But this young lady, the speed, the accuracy, and she missed one question, and she did, and even the question she missed, she didn't really get it wrong. She just said one extra zero, like when she said zero point zero 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 one, she had an extra zero. That's how she got it wrong, but. It was like a decimal point issue. Anyway, she got it. She got it wrong, but yet she still cleared the board by thirty points. Never been, and that's never been replicated. Replicated since she won the competition. That was in 2000, 2021, I think, or twenty twenty two. It's not recent, but I just caught wind of it. So, and she's crowned the queen of maths. And then I'm gonna tell you, this competition is a global competition. So it's the smartest kids on the planet came together and she won it, Nigerian. And this is what I tell you. Fun fact about Nigeria. Did you know that in the States, the most doctors in the States right now practicing is Nigerian doctors? Fun fact. Nigerians is some of the smartest people on the planet. That country, um, that country um, push out so many brilliant minds. Um, 
um, prodigies. Trust me. I'm going to show you one more video of our next, um, before the, um, yeah, our next Nigerian um, young lady. She went to China for study. But I'm not going to say what she did. I want you to listen to it. It's going to blow your mind. You're going to get chills by listening to this. She's speaking in Mandarin, but they have English subtitles. Take a listen. Boom. Sunjindalindao 怎么学起风时来到张树林感受了中文之美所以想将这里的文化带向世界2022年我们获得了东盟艺术节狮子朗诵一等奖 那我要骄傲地说我参加过朝如青丝暮成雪我不想快乐的时光变成春花秋月天生我才必有用变成天下谁人不识君谢谢大家 
this young lady went to China, learned the language, speak it fluently, even better than some of those indigenous Chinese who actually who born and raised there. She came out first, oh, I think she beat out over nine thousand, looked over nine thousand students, international students. And she came, she was a valid, valedictorian, and also she got the, she got the most points out of all of those kids. And she even surpassed some of the Chinese students. And you see that brilliant poem she read, she recited. And trust me, to master a language that's not yours. And also, not only the language, you also mastered some of their um, poetry, literatures. So, she got a Bachelor of Science degree, which is one of the high. I think this is one of the highest you can get in that field. And she did it. And where is she from? Nigeria. So, I hope the Nigerian government is... Well, I wouldn't say that because the, the, the current president is really a puppet. He have no... He has no, no vision for Nigeria. Surprise when they put him in power. But anyway, Nigeria have been pumping out engineers and prodigies and all kinds of doctors and lawyers and um, inventors. Uh, one of the days I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on just Nigerian educated and how they populate the world and where they're working and stuff and stuff. I'm gonna do a video on that soon to show you the brilliantness of um, of um, the, con the country, Nigeria. The citizens are doing great, but the government is a whole other story. So I'm going to put out these two pictures of the girls. So, Miss Faith and um, I can't remember if I um, pronounce it, um, her name pro properly. It's um, Amochi. So those are them. And this is this gentleman here is Miss Faith, um, Young Faith, father, the doctor, slash mathematician as well. So that will show you. He's so proud, he gave, an interview. he gave an interview and he's speaking how proud he was of his daughter to bring home the world math competition title. I could only imagine the joy that father is feeling. So, for those of you who think Africans are less than, and this is just a, this is just a, um, a, um, a scratch on the surface of just, this is just two I'm showing you, of some of the most breathtaking um kids that's shine that's making the continent look shining shine, shine, shine a bright light on the continent not only nigerians but they are some they are the ones who are the forefront at the moment when it comes down to education and things like that you have, you have others but for now i'm focusing on these two so if you want to learn more about her you can go on um you can go online this other you can, you can do some research and find out who she is um, her father, if you need any interest in what she's doing now, I think I'll do a follow up video on that as well. But according to the her parents, which is Miss Faith, I'm talking the younger one, the 15 year old, she don't have any social media, she's not very social, and I don't run them from not from blocking from stopping them from having social media because yeah, that's her uh, that could take away from her lessons. But big ups to Miss Faith, to young, not Miss Faith, to young Faith. And Amici, she's now graduated. Her. I think if I if I read correctly, she's now a translator, and she's doing some big things among the Chinese, um, within the, the, the Chinese community. Like you know, she's mostly working in that second of the world, so that's good in Asia. So that's a brilliant thing to do because of what she accomplished. It comes down to her. Um, her skills of mastering a language at her age, not only master it, learn everything she learned in, in, this, in, the, in the university with that same language, turn around, become a valed valedictorian, turn around and also she was chosen by all the other students to be, to give that speech. And I, tell, and I, and I said before, she, I think she beat out like over, a little over 9,000 kids when it comes down to finishing at the top of the class, which she was. Um, so she studied Chinese language and, and literature, just to finalize that statement. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. If neither do, if, do you think Nigerians are some of the 
not only, but they are some of the smartest people on the planet. And that's just my take on that. You could not agree, disagree, but that's my take. If you say otherwise, you bring forth evidence to prove otherwise. So, yes. Thanks for watching. As always, I tell you. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Boom.